So this is the beginning. I got this pot, this wonderful old cooking pot, and it has a huge crack in the side. So the first step is going to be lining it with these coffee sacks that I got from, uh, oh, I can't think of his name. Anyway, I'll remember his name and I'll put it on my YouTube um, notes in the notes and everything. Yes, you want to have fun too. Do you want to do this? So these, I'm gonna use these to put in here and then I'll show you how I'll make it because what I want is to have one big thing and then things going around it and then plants coming down, going down here. So I will show you how I'm going to do that. First step is these guys, these coffee sacks. Now, right, you can see at the bottom of this pot is a big, huge hole, but everything is very solid. And you can see there's a crack going up there, but it's all very solid. So I'm gonna take this and put it across the bottom for drainage. So there's space here and space here for water to get out to uh, drain. Um, and now I'm gonna put the sacking in here to hold the soil. So what I'm doing is cutting one side of these sacks open to make them much bigger. So you can see that it's no longer just a bag. There's a bit of a corner of the bottom over there and I drape it in this and then I'm gonna fill it with soil before I plant. So now this is entirely sacked and I'm gonna now fill it up with soil and the front hole where the front hole was, this is all covered in sacking as well. So now for the next step, putting soil in. I thought I better say I'm reinforcing the, this um, front bit where the hole is. The hole is right here. I'm reinforcing that with an additional sack. So it'll be um, three layers of sacking in the front so the soil doesn't leak through so that by the time the roots of the plants have got a grip, this will have rotten down and rotten back. So it's uh, a um, to make it stronger at the front. So there, and now to fill it up with soil. The temperature's rising as I do that, so I've stripped off my sweater and waistcoat, and Maya's taken it as a bed. Anyway, this is the beginnings, the first plant, which is this beautiful Japanese maple. So I'm trying to see which way it looks good um, by putting it in before it's not taken out of the pot yet. So if it looks good from as many different angles as possible, then it can stay there. So here's hoping I think I've got it right now. So we're getting there. These Bidens are pollen friendly. Bees love them. They love these. The hookara is, I just love the hookara and it goes well with this tree. So that's, we're getting there slowly but surely. We're almost at the point where um, I'm gonna start cutting into the front end and making pockets to plant some more plants. But I think it's gonna look good. Okay, I've cut most of the burlap from the edges down. See, they're still here in the pot because I need it, the weight of it to hold that in place to plant the plants that are gonna go to fall down here. But I think it's looking good. My brute of a knife did the job. And you can see I'm using the hookra colors work with the colors of the rust and the faded paint. So I'm working with the colors of the pot from its natural rustiness. Oh, I'm very pleased with how that's beginning to look. It's gonna look gorgeous coming up the driveway and into the yard. Okay, at the moment it's all burlappy, but that's because I'm using the burlap to do what um, I want to do, create. Very exciting. Kneeling on the ground on my cut bits of burlap 
that I've cut away from the edges. They were hanging over the edge and I've tucked them in behind. So the next stage is cutting into here, into the soil that's behind and planting um, the plants that I want to plant that will come and kind of weep over the edge, if you will. So this is a little bit more complicated bit of engineering. I have my handy knife here to do the cutting. So let's see how I go and maybe we'll all like the end result, at least here's hoping. Okay, I think I've finally completed my pot and you can see here what I was doing with it weeping down the front, these flowers, they're inserted inside this burlap. So the Biden and the petunias will hopefully seem like a colorful crack down the side of the pot. And what's so gorgeous is at the moment is the bluebells with the red tulips. Look at that. And then we go up and the wisteria is coming out. It's just beginning to come out. And then right here, the tulips that were there, where this new pot is, are now moved to a different location. But I'm really pleased with how that looks. I think it's gonna add to the ambiance and entrance to those who come to visit. And I still haven't cleaned up a bit of my detritus, but that's me, I'm such a muck savage. I think it looks fantastic, though I say so myself. And my assistant is still hard at work.